Okay, I'm done with work. It is 1120 and I want to get these last two episodes botched and then I've got to get in bed because I've got to get up early, go to the dump, go to the grocery store and be ready to work at one tomorrow. <laughs> so, and the dump closes at noon. So got to get up early, early for me. So Cobra Kai, episode eight, uh, or episode nine, sorry, I've already watched eight. <laughs> I'm on episode nine. We are getting into the end of this this season. I want to comment before I forget that I saw that the actor who plays Tommy, which episode was it? Five, six, I think it was five. Hi, buddy. Hi. You like to bless everybody with your presence lately, haven't you? Yeah, they didn't see that you tried to meow. They can't hear you. You gonna meow again? You gonna meow again? Meow for them. You're just embarrassed. <laughs> The actor who played Tommy in season, or I mean, episode five or six, somewhere in there, the one who was, died from cancer on the show. He apparently did die in 2019, shortly after, I can't remember if they said shortly after filming or shortly after season two was released. I think they said it after season two was released. So... It makes that scene even harder, and I didn't even know that, and I had cried, so I don't even remember seeing a in memory of, oh, so they must have finished everything. It must have, must have been on air when it happened, so I imagine they'll have a in memory of um, sometime in season three for him, I'd imagine. We haven't seen Crease in a while. He's a mongoose, so I expect him to pop up. Ian is being a jerk, and I have a feeling he is going to get sucked in by Crease behind the scenes. Um, Miguel is starting to wisen up a bit. I have a feeling he's going to reach out to Sam again because he and Sam, they just, they like each other. Um, even though I like Sam with Robbie, the chemistry is better between her and Miguel. So I, I think Miguel will reach out to her. That's a point. And when he does, she's going to find out Robbie didn't tell her about the medal. And uh, that's going to ruin things there. It's either going to happen at the end of this episode or in season or episode 10. So I, it's, you know, it's going to happen. It's inevitable. One of the things we have to keep in mind is this, that the episodes take place over time. So I think Dimitri is going to get a few more skills under his belt before the end of 10. I don't know where we're headed. I don't know if we're having another tournament or if um, it, they haven't said anything about a tournament, so I don't think so. Uh, but I think there's going to be some kind of standoff between the two dojos. It looks like Amanda and Danny are healing in their relationship, and hopefully he finds balance between work and the dojo. I still have a hope that Johnny and Daniel will get together and make amends and try to understand each other better. It, you know, that um, the episode in season one where they had a beer and got drunk and did some drinking and driving, did not approve of that. But the all of it before that, a, you know, it was great to see. It was great to see that healing going on. So I'd like to see more of that. And... This is one of those where they take two, st two steps forward, one step back. So it's not impossible to happen on the show. It just might take a while. I still think that Crease is going to undermine Johnny somehow and somehow take over the dojo, I think. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, Aisha, she's in limbo. She could go either way at this point. Hopefully she realizes she's going down the wrong path and she makes some changes, but um, right now it's not looking that way. So we'll have to see, but she could go either way. And 
he's creased all the way. Have I covered most of it? I think I've covered most of it. Yeah, let's go ahead and get to this. I need to get them done and get to bed. So <laughs> let's go. A little Megan Trainer. No. Everyone's got a sob story. That doesn't give you the right to be a bully. Corey was saying that or Sam was saying that? So we're going to have a standoff between them, Tori and <laughs> Sam. God, it's been hard for me. I want to make things right. She didn't even call and check in on him. But, uh, but I, I, the drinking, the pills, I, I have to change. I want to for you. She's got to do it for herself. I'm glad she's coming forward about that. Bye. Diviértense y no la dejes preñada. Don't knock her up. <laughs> and then we got kicked out of the room. Well, at least you both moved on, right? Yeah. Hey. No, she hasn't. I gotta go, but I'll think about it. Is that where the standoff's going to happen? Is that Just the party? So you know. Does she know she's seeing Robbie? No, oh, she's going to the party. Do you have any other tables? I might be getting my wish. Oh, they have Warren Karate Dojos. I'll take a Cadillac Margarita. <laughs> I love Amanda. <laughs> I'd known there'd be this many people. I would have brought Balderdash. <laughs> well, this isn't the big blow up because we still have another episode. Something's going to happen though. With summer ending and school starting back up, we could stop all the fighting and be friends again. Good intentions. Cadillac, Don't think it's going to happen. So many kids want to join my dojo. <laughs> wow, that's great. I'm so proud of you, Johnny. He knows it's going to push his buttons. My students are. I'm just saying it's not the quantity, it's the quality. Now, the bigger is better. Yeah, well, it's just <laughs> little old me at the Old Valley. I feel like I was with a different boy every week. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been able to dance. Oh, yeah, these are my friends. Their parents are out of town. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the billboards. You kick the competition. <laughs> well, you made a lot of money off that illegal kick. I'm just jealous I can get my leg up that high. Oh, yeah. You want to step in the parking lot and see whose leg can go higher? Seriously. <laughs> Have you all boiled tacos? Great. Would you like corn tortillas or flour? Uh, just a hard shell. No green stuff. I'll go ahead and put your order in right now. 10 to 1. I will say, I, there's some things I can remember, no problem, that kind of stuff. But taking people's orders and having having waiters that can remember an order without writing it down, it always makes me nervous. I've only had, one, <laughs> why are you staring at me like that? I've only had one experience where the waiter got everything right except for my dish. <laughs> they forgot my dish completely. But that's the story of my life. I've had waiters forget my dish even when they've written it down. Um, it's happened. If you guys know the, the chain up north called Haas's, Haas's Steakhouse, it happened at their place three times, two different locations but three times. Uh, there's a dessert restaurant up in Pennsylvania called Friendly's. That's where my parents would meet when um, they were picking us up, dropping us off uh, for summer or holidays, that sort of thing. And so Friendly's forgot to bring me my dish one time, my meal. And when I was at a conference one time, uh, the conference was the one where the waiter was um, remembering everything rather than writing it down, and uh, they forgot it. We got free dessert, though. I will join you. No, you should stay. Come on, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sam will win. We hate the Miyagi does. See how have his tape to his hand? Have we seen her before? Go back. I'm Piper. 
<laughs> Oops. Come on, guys. Get the bromance going. He died again. I hope it was an open <laughs> casket so you were able to check his. They're relating. I want Cobra Kai to be better. Come on, bromance. Why not write it down? You gotta write it down. You gotta write it down. <laughs> Wipe them. <laughs> oh, are we gonna have another bromance? What's she like? A woman. She's badass. And mom's gonna find out about this. Tori, are you okay? Go that would that. hurt falling that far on concrete. He's got both hands taped. Look at that. He's got both hands taped. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I can be your salsa sensei. Salsa sensei. <laughs> I like Carmen. Carmen and Amanda. What a team. No, you're not. Is this when she's going to find out? There she found out. Don't let her drive anywhere. I love Matthew. All right, that's enough. I think Dimitri's going to get beat up. We watched every Harry Potter movie together. His hair dried awfully fast. You know, I hate to admit it, but this was kind of fun. Are we going to drink and drive again? We got a bromance. Yay! Yay! They're going to kiss. Thank you. Question is, would she have done it if she was sober? It's good old fashioned bedwetting. <laughs> and Eli here? That was low. Pro. <laughs> Underage drinking. Oh, I can't go to jail. My mom will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> we got some kissing. What are they doing? Is Robbie there? It's going to be Robbie with Sam. One sec. So, some excitement in that one. Where's all this cat fur come from? We have Daniel and Johnny seem to have made up. They emphasized about how Crease is out, and so you know he's going to show up uh, in this last episode coming up. Hawk is going to go after Dimitri. There's going to be fighting with that. Sam got drunk and kissed Miguel. Robbie doesn't know about that, but Robbie also doesn't know that she knows that he lied <laughs> about the medal. There wasn't much focus on Aisha. Tori... I have a feeling she's going to retaliate, even though she started off her relationship with Miguel by saying, what better way than to make her jealous and blah, 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 blah. So there's always backfire. Stingray taping, duct taping both malts to his hand was just ridiculous. Okay. I'm excited to see what's going to happen in this last episode. We've got school coming up. We've got Eli threatening Dimitri. We've got the two dojos, um, Miguel and Sam, and then Danny and Johnny, kind of a healthy mesh, kind of. You want petting. So let's just go ahead and get on to the next episode. Thank you guys for joining me on this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.